How to prepare best quality potting soil mix for all indoor plants. Hello and welcome my friends to your favorite YouTube channel, Gardener's Gardening. Today, I am going to discuss about how you can prepare best soil mix for all indoor plants, succulents, cactus, orchids and bonsai plants. I am requesting all my viewers to subscribe my channel and press the bell button to get notifications of my more gardening related videos time to time. Let us start the video. Indoor plants add huge colors to our indoor and purifies the air surrounding us. Most of the house plants are easy to take care, but to keep them healthy we provide them three basic need, proper soil, water and light. Humidity and temperature also play the vital role for their growth. Urban gardeners always face problem to get good quality soil. So, we have to improve the soil quality where plant root gets enough space to stretch and access air and water. The soil should be lighter finer, free flowing, loose, crumbly texture, well draining but not soggy. But soil must release fertilizers to the roots, as they can get all macro and micronutrients essential for their growth. You can buy potting mix from online, but they are very much costly. So, if you learn how to prepare it, you can save your money. Ingredients and their role Number 1. Fully decomposed kitchen or leaf compost or cow dung or vermicompost. Compost provides structure to support the root system. Compost provide all macro and micronutrients to the plants like nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, iron, sulfur, calcium. Number 2. Sphagnum peat moss Peat moss provides structure aeration, water retention, but it is not sustainable. Number 3. Coco pit Alternative to peat moss, coco pit protects plants from over and under watering. It is more sustainable. Number 4. Perlite Perlite improves aeration, good drainage of soil. It improves the texture of clay soil, it speeds up germination and seedlings growth. It prevents compaction in soil. It is almost neutral pH and free from diseases, insects. Number 5. Vermiculite Vermiculite is best soilless growing medium, because it is enough for water retention and nutrient holding capacities. You can store bulbs within vermiculite to prevent from fungal attack. It absorbs extra moisture from soil. Number 6. Sand Improve soil drainage and help to drain excess water. Number 7. Horticultural Charcoal or Activated Charcoal It absorbs excess water, filters salts and impurities. Number 8. Calcined Clay Improves soil drainage and absorbency. Number 9. Pine or Far Bark Bark is used for drainage and to improve airflow. Number 10. Pumice Lava Pumice is used for aeration in soil, as it is a volcanic rock so porous and retain nutrition that plant needs. It does not break down the soil nutrition and holds for longer time. These ingredients are used to make best quality potting mix, which will help to improve drainage, encourage moisture retention and resist compaction. Neutral pH and porosity are two another qualities for a good potting soil mix, because plants don't get nutrition if pH is not kept in acceptable range. Add lime to raise the pH and add sulfur to lower the pH. Porosity indicates the root's ability to access oxygen in soil. These ingredients also keep the planter lightweight and you can carry them and shift them from one corner to another corner of your home very easily. Now come to know about 7 types of potting soil mix. Number 1. All-Purpose Potting Soil for All House Plants 40% free-flowing garden soil, 20% any compost, 10% fine sand, 10% cocoa pit powder, 10% vermiculite, 10% perlite. When you repot in future, use this. Potting soil, cocoa pit, sand, vermiculite, perlite, compost, horticultural charcoal. Number 2. Soil Less Potting Mix 60% pit moss or cocoa pit, 40% pumice or perlite. 60% pit moss or cocoa pit, 30% pumice or perlite, 10% worm casting or vermicompost. 30% compost or worm casting, 25% cocoa pit, 
15% perlite, 15% vermiculite, 15% sand. Number 3. Succulent and Cactus Special Super Potting Mix Succulents and cactus need well-drained potting mix, which will drain water quickly and holds less moisture to prevent root rot. Soil, perlite, cocoa pit, wood chips, limestone. 40% sand, 35% cocoa pit, 5% compost, 20% perlite. Number 4. Orchid Special Potting Mix Orchids are generally epiphytes and take nutrition from air. So, their roots are partially exposed. They need good air circulation and growing media, which can hold moisture, but water needs to drain out quickly, so roots don't stay wet. Cocoa pit or sphagnum pit moss, horticultural charcoal, pine bark, perlite, pumice lava stone, clay aggregate or calcined clay, orchid special slow release fertilizer. Number 5. Bonsai Premium Potting Mix It is designed specially to help bonsai tree to get sufficient nutrition they require. Pumice Lava, Calcine Clay, Pine Bark Number 6. Indoor Flowering Plant 20% Soil, 20% Compost, 20% Perlite, 10% Cocoa Pit, 10% Sand, 20% Wood Chips Number 7. Potted Vegetables for Balcony 20% Soil, 20% Compost, 30% Cocoa Pit, 10% Vermiculite, 10% Perlite, 10% River Sand Try these mixture at your home garden, and I'm sure you will get very good results from this. If you got benefited from this video, then give it a like and share this video to your friends and relatives who love to do gardening. Subscribe our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.